What's going on traders? In this video, we're going to talk about how to find high probability setups, how to locate key entry points only using price action without indicators. There is one indicator that you can see, but this is a 21 bar exponential moving average only supportive indicator. Now, when we are trading, the market can give us three options. The market can be in a strong uptrend, can be in a strong downtrend, or it can be in a trading range. And even though we can see uptrend working higher, up to, down to working lower and up to working higher, there is no clear one direction when the market is going. So this already indicates to me this is going to be a range-like structure. Also, EMA is completely flat without any direction. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to locate my key levels because I need to find extremes for the trading range. So I'm going to find my support somewhere around here. It doesn't matter where exactly it is because this is mostly an area. I want to use. I don't want to use the lowest points. I want to use something a little bit higher so i get multiple confirmations but not too high i'm going to copy it put it to the other side like this and now i have my trading range marked when i'm trading trading ranges without indicators all i have in my disposals are a few technical tools and one of those tools are trend lines so i'm going to draw my trend lines and what does this trend line represent represent this trend line represents that the bears are in control and they are in control until there's a break of a trend line and they are still in control until there is a new extreme, then it's where the seller's control fades and we can be looking for longs, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing to the upside. I'm going to draw my shortened trend line like this in this uptrend. And the, this represents that the buyers are in control. There's the first break for this bullish trend line. That doesn't mean that I'm going to start selling just yet, okay? Because according to trend line rules, traders will attempt to create a new extreme. You guys can see price keeps working higher. So at this point on, buyers are in control there is a break we expect for price to create a new extreme that is as the market is pushing higher and pushing higher i cannot go long directly into this resistance remember the trading range you trade them you sell the highs you buy the lows and you fade the breakout fading the breakout means trading the breakout in the opposite direction and look what is happening price is starting to get far away from the exponential moving average and when price is getting away from the moving average that indicates that the price will pull back soon ema acts as a magnet so as the price is pushing above this trading range, I'm expecting for breakout to fail because even though it sounds counterintuitive, take a look what you have. You have a break of this uptrend. You have a first leg to a new extreme, pull back, second leg to a new extreme and market likes to move in twos. So this is now a breakout above this key level and most breakouts of trading, trading ranges will fail. So this is the first high probability setup. You have room to EMA and market keeps pushing lower okay does that make sense how market operates and we, we keep pushing lower we keep pushing lower we keep pushing below EMA so as I'm looking at this structure and we are coming from fell breakout fell breakout will a lot of times generate strong momentum to push the market to the the other extreme to the other end okay Fel fading the breakouts a lot of times generate that strong of a momentum and when you sell this breakout that's where you want to hold the runners okay the market created a big bullish bar see this big bullish bar that doesn't mean I'm going to be buying remember Uptrend played out with the break, new extreme, and right now the sellers are in control. So right now, the only thing that I'm thinking is about selling, and I have a nice big bearish bar that close below the exponential moving average, indicating strong bearish momentum. So sellers are in control. This is a trading range structure, and you want to sell high and buy low. And this is now a lower high setup. Price pushed below EMA, created a big bullish bar. You trap a lot of people going long and instantly reverse. All right. So this is another high probability setup. A market keeps pushing lower, keeps pushing lower. Look what you have. You have a little bit of overshoot and you have quite a decent overshoot. Now overshoot will a lot of times generate strong momentum to either break the trend line or straight up reverse. So when I'm looking at this, I'm not going to buy yet because I'm still expecting for price to get to the other side of this extreme. All right, so when I see this, I'm still waiting at this point on. And look at this strong bearish move. Sellers are still in control now. There is no break for the downtrend yet. The market is working higher. I'm not buying. Look what you have. You have a nice confirmation from this trend line, which tells me that this trend line is correct. And I have a nice bounce off the EMA. However, this is just only a first entry because this is the lowest low of this entire move. And since high probability setup is a second entry to like a pullback, I only have a first entry short here, so I cannot pull the trigger here. Plus, I have the overshoot here. Okay, so when I have the overshoot, I'm leery that I may get a break of a trend line. So I'm sitting patiently. I will draw my shortened trend line like this. A market pushes higher, pushes higher. 
and gives me a second entry short. So this is now a two-legged pullback, two-legged correction. When something doesn't work once, traders will attempt to do it twice. And that's where you want to capitalize on it because that's the high probability setup. All right, also take a look. We talked about the trend lines. We can draw a micro trend line as well. So we have a trend line working higher. Buyers are in control for just this short period of time. There is a break and a new extreme. So buyers are no longer in control. And this is a second entry short off the key entry point of the EMA. You close below EMA indicating bearish momentum. And I want to see a new extreme because remember, breaks of a trend lines create new extreme. Break of a trend line creates new extreme. Break of a trend line. I'm looking for new extreme. And the overshoot is almost measured. Okay, let's I'm just going to measure it. You guys can see overshoot is, is almost measured. So I respected the overshoot. And look, there's a nice second entry short high probability setup, which made eight tick scalp. Your stop loss goes one tick above each bar. All right. Now take a look what is happening. You have a break, new extreme, or almost new extreme. You have a micro double bottom. Now you don't have to have a perfectly new extreme. Double tops and double bottoms can sometimes be enough. But when I'm watching this, I still expect price to go to this new low. I'm still expecting to, for price to go to this major, uh, major key level. But it doesn't happen and price reverses higher. Now we're already starting to go a little bit sideways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little micro support. I'm going to put it at the top and I'm going to put it somewhere around here. Because the structure for the market is starting to swing up and down, up and down, up and down. And just like we did at the very beginning, price move up, move down, move up. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Move up, move down, move up, move down. Okay, so this is a small little trading range. I'm also going to draw my shortened trend line and I'm just watching the price because I just had a high probability setup and there is a higher likelihood that there is not going to be high probability setup yet and I have a big push down back to this trading range which indicates that this trading range tightening trading range is valid however take a look how EMA is flat in the middle of those bars so when the EMA is in the middle of those bars that indicates congestion and I don't want to trade take trades in this congestion so I'm just sitting on my hands here look at this stacked up overlapping momentum you know indecision not interested in taking indecision. I'm only interested in taking high probability setups at the key entry points. Okay. As the market keeps pushing higher, I'm going, I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this support, going to extend this resistance. It's going to make it a little bit flatter, horizontal. All right. I'm still treating this as a trading range, but right now we are in the middle of this trading range. So there is a smaller trading range in the middle of this bigger one. So I'm playing focus on this one this is the most recent price session this is the one i play and you guys can see there's a fell breakout horrible signal bar when i'm counter trend trading i'm taking the fell breakouts i want to see a nice signal bar this is a stim at the bottom doji indecision bar not interested market is going higher still not interested in taking any setup because we just broke higher we can push lower you know i'm not interested in taking any setup and market is pushing lower back into the trading range all right there is no high probability setup yet and I'm okay with sitting on my hands. That comes with the territory as being a trader. You just wait for high probability setups because you can tell that this is a failed breakout that pushed back into this trading range. Okay, but it was supposed to work here. Right here, you'll be picking top. Okay, it, get, it gets a little bit confusing. I'm going to draw my shortened trend line with up here. You have a break, new extreme. So the buyers are no longer in, to, in control. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my shortened trend line. And at this point on, sellers are in control, okay? Ignore that the trend line is a little bit crooked because I don't want to move the chart to the right side. I just want to keep it like this. So once price and while price is in this trend line, the sellers are in control. And we pushed back below EMA, back into this trading range. So I am only thinking short. Look what you have. You have a new high, first entry long, failure. This is a lower high setup of this fell breakout. Same thing that happened right here. Fell breakout. Push back into trading range below EMA, a lower high, confirmation of this fell breakout. Fell breakout, push below EMA, lower high. You now have an EMA holding, resistance holding, and you expect new extreme of this short and down trend. This is a high probability setup. Okay, you have the structure on your side. A market keeps pushing higher, keeps pushing higher. I'm just gonna extend this line a little bit because we keep going sideways. And you have a break and a new low form. And what that indicates. That the sellers are no longer in control and since this is a smaller trading range how do you trade this trading range you buy lows you sell highs and you fade the breakout and this 
is right now ladies and gentlemen this is a breakout so the safest entry here is to buy this breakout nice big bullish bar but you're kind of trend trading you want to see a good signal bar on your side and market keeps pushing higher keeps pushing higher now when i'm watching this i'm going to draw my short and trend lines because from them at this moment buyers are in control so i cannot pick a top while this uptrend remains unbroken okay and market is, pu is pushing and getting close to this resistance so what i'm expecting same thing i was expecting right here i'm expecting for price to give me a fell breakout i have a, my break of this trend line that's okay i'm not selling just yet because there's going to be a new extreme and there's a new extreme so i'm preparing my limit order if i get a nice big bearish bar but market keeps pushing higher and keeps pushing higher strongly and in matter of fact it pushed so far up that it's no it looks like it's no longer part of this trading range because take a look there was a move above this resistance and instant bearish bar we went like six seven bars strong bullish momentum bars and you're so far above this trading range this no longer feels like it's going to be a fell breakout this feels like it's the beginning of a new uptrend okay this is how i treated it and even though you have this bearish bar and the fell breakout worked for pullback take a look what happened market reverse and push higher and you don't even though this fell breakout work you don't want to take it because you're now too far away from this trading range structure market push way too high up that it is now a new trend that is beginning since this option is a new trend now i'm only looking for two legged pullbacks as a high probability setup so there's a new extreme there's only a first entry long new extreme first entry long so market is pushing higher and this is now a clearly an uptrend okay look at this exponential moving average how it's pointing higher this is no denying that this is now an uptrend and i need to forget about the trading range structure the new trend has begun and i'm sticking only with the longs i'm not telling i'm not picking top when i'm thinking this i'm not picking top entry too far away from ema you guys can see you have a new new high pullback first entry long pullback second entry long but look what happened high probability setup is a second entry long at the key entry point you are not at the key entry point ema trend line support resistance line is the uh, high probability setup and you are not at the high probability setup yet so i'm just sitting patiently it worked for a scalp that don't matter i'm respecting the rules with what you have you have new high so i'm counting over this high is higher than this high first entry long that's not high probability setup it fails but look what you have you have a big bearish bar so we have a downtrend working lower break in a new low indicating sellers are not in control you have a two measured legs to new extreme so there's a two legged pullback and it's a second entry long you close back above the ema indicating strong bullish momentum this is nice bullish bar now you may think that you have a break in new extreme why are we looking for long again when we have a break in new extreme well since this trend has been extremely strong and let me measure how strong this was this was a 30 and a half point move this has been an extremely strong uptrend and they're not going to reverse on a dime like that so once we're we, we are we waited and we gave a bears chance with the break and a new extreme okay we gave it a chance for the downtrend to start and it didn't start this was their chance it broke the trend line created new low and this is all they had and the big uptrends a lot of times there is a bigger potential that there is some sort of flatter and why you know flatter channel in play is going to flatten this channel so don't try to just reverse strong uptrends or downtrends just on a dime give it a little bit chance they may be a few pushes to the upside if the market keeps pushing lower below ema strongly then of course you can start selling but this is, didn't happen here we pushed below ema and it instantly reversed with the big bearish bar and this is now a high probability setup second entry long at the key entry point with the direction of a trend and market kept pushing higher so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw my lines like this small little training range little fell breakout also giving me a little bit more reason to end right here now i have a clear new high one high two new highs so i have a first entry, new high right here first entry long second entry long so this is a two like a pullback it worked but now it's starting to get dangerous because you now have a clear new high you have another new high so we have a double top here and this is starting to look very steep so i don't want you to be going long here after the two legs to new extreme were formed okay now you're taking a chance now you're very close to these highs it's starting to get dangerous so now i have to respect the price action we're starting to consolidate a little bit but at the same time you don't want to pick a top here because this has been a strong bullish trend okay and the only thing you want to uh, 
pick a top is in a trading range here it's okay to pick a top because this is how trading range acts most breakouts will fail this is not the trading range structure this is like up, up trend so no top picking what i'm going to do i'm going to draw my short and trend line which this indicates that the bears are in control i have a break of a downtrend move to a new extreme and you guys can see there's a new high there's a first entry long pullback pullback second entry long failure but to my liking this was such a strong uptrend i don't think you want to go long you you, you, you want to go short just yet remember second entries with the trends are high probability setup and there's a second entry long but the uptrend has played out so it's no longer high probability setup so that's why the failure for second entry can be a good entry you know what i will mark it as a slightly aggressive entry because it fits the rules new high first entry long second entry long ema is holding you broke this downtrend so you expect for price to create new extreme and market keeps pushing lower uh oh and market keeps pushing higher so right now there's a little bit of a dilemma downtrend played out but we are below ema so i don't, don't want to pick bottom first entry short second entry short failure but this bar is way too big to go long above directly into this trend line so i'm just respecting the price right now it's a little bit indecision i don't know what, what can happen we can go higher we can go lower so only thing i'm going to do i'm going to use the only technical tool i have and it's the short term trend line i have a break move to a new extreme so the uptrend according to this played out i have a micro double top look what happens next one more push higher and there's a big bearish bar so this is now looking pretty good because the uptrend is working higher you have a break you have a new extreme double top right here and price broke lower pushed back retested the triple top and instantly reverse lower this is a lower high setup you close below ema nice bullish bar this is a decent bar and the market just plummeted lower all right so this is what i saw today uh, these are the setups uh, there were today was a really great day to trade because the trading range just works like a clockwork and even this tiny trading range the only thing that was a little bit confusing was this strong rally up once you see a price getting away from the uh, previous trading range you have to adapt to a new uptrend and once you see a break in a new extreme of a strong trend don't start selling just yet market needs to prove that it's going to go below the ema strongly there was a downtrend which played out with the break in a new extreme very early good indication that the bulls are strong and we closed about the ema giving me indication that we may have a few more pushes up all right so i'm gonna wrap the video and see you guys in the next one. Take care, buddy.